Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Fuber Dooge with another video review. You got the touch! You got the power! Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Fall of Cybertron Generations Jazz. And this is going to be a... What am I... I'm going to be pretty excited during this review because I did have the Generations Fall of Cybertron Sideswipe, but that thing broke, and so... Since they transform the exact same way, I'm not going to make a review on the Sideswipe one, just because he's broken. So I'm kind of glad that I picked this guy up at Walmart, as usual. So let's take a look at him. Since it's Fall of Cybertron, it's not going to be any Earth vehicles. So this one looks a little bit futuristic, which is, I'm okay with that, because it's Fall of Cybertron. So let's take a look at him up close here. He's got a very nice Autobot symbol. And he's got a lot of detail, if you can see it. You can see it more in the blue than the white. Just a lot of detail. And I like the fin back here. And the bottom looks pretty nice, too. You can't see anything evident except for these hands. So, I wish they would have put some here to fill that up. But besides that, pretty good. Now, let's check out his accessories. Or accessory, I should say. He only comes with one thing. This blaster. And what you can do with this in vehicle mode is there's a little plug-in up here. Just plop that down and boom, he has a turret. Now, I'll show you my Fall of Cybertron side swipe here in just a minute. But his he comes with this huge gun. <laughs> here it is. And that can also plug in on top of Jazz if you really want to. But it's a little bit over the top. <laughs> it's got red on it, so... I don't even, I th this thing looks more like a handgun anyway, so I wouldn't put it on him. So, yeah. And I'll get, um, Sideswipe here in a second. And here he is next to the Fall of Cybertron Sideswipe. Now, I did tell you earlier that Sideswipe's broken. So I'm going to kind of intertwine Sideswipe into this review just because I don't want to put him in a review because he's broken. I, th the molding is a little bit different, but the transformation is exactly the same. As you can see, the front... It looks different, but if you look at the body style, Sideswipe's a little bit bigger, but if you pay close attention, he does transform the exact same way, because he has the hands back there exactly the same. Now, the part I broke is right here. You can just take his arm totally off. It broke right here on this. So, I'm actually pretty bummed about that, because... I really like this guy. The main reason why it broke, and I'll get to that in a minute, is actually kind of frustrating because Jazz ha is a little bit different with his molding on his arm connections. So, I don't know. That's the reason why Sideswipe broke, and I'll get to that in just a minute. But let's set him off to the side here, and let's just transform Jazz here real quick. So first what you want to do is you disconnect the arms. They do plug into the side here, so you just take those out. And that's not why the, the reason why it broke, so... And this is a little tricky. I feel like this is going to break, but it really is not. It's on a hinge joint here, so you sort of move that back around. Again, sort of tricky. Then what you want to do is take the legs, and you just rotate them down. And so, you're left with this. And there's a little tab that plugs into the arm, so you just remove that. You can sort of see the tab. It plugs in right in there. So you just take it out and you turn the arm around. And you fold the hand out. So you put the door sort of there and is this is his arm free to move. So you just do the same for the other side. You unplug it, fold his hand out, and there he is. You just then you rotate his feet down and they're sort of on ratchet joints, so it, it won't move very much, and that's kind of cool. Now what you want to do, this is the trickiest part. You f fold this, actually you want to bend this, and you see it's on multiple hinge joints where the middle comes up and the other doesn't. And you fold this down, this whole front middle section, you turn this up, it's on the hinge, and then this is sort of difficult to show you because, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, so you just turn around here. Actually, you can see better. This tab that you, or this little, this big bit that you folded down before, you push on that with your index fingers, and then you push up 
on the bumper with your thumbs and then there's little tiny tiny slots here right here that little dip in, in the white that it plugs or not really plugs into but rests and then down here there's this little tiny tab that sort of rests in there it's supposed to plug in but it's not very tight so just sort of leave that there and there you have Fall of Cybertron Generations Jazz and right next to Sideswipe who I'll get out in a second and here he is next to Sideswipe like I said before arm broken so it won't be able to connect here and the reason is because of the bits that the arm sort of rests into and I sorry I, I apologize I didn't really show it to you in the transformation but I'll show it to you now when you transform these guys what you have to do is there's these little tiny tabs here on jazz and there's a little hole right here and you sort of have to turn it on the ball joint so it fits and it sort of rests but on side swipe they're much bigger and that poses a great problem and that's why this arm broke and I'll show you that here and I it's more it's not as big as the one on this side but you can sort of see better I can just take his arm off the ball joint but this tab thing here is a lot bigger so I'll just plug his arm back on when you try to turn this it doesn't move and that causes the ball joint to break and I don't know if you can see it but there's already some stress marks on here that you can see so I have to take the arm off and sort of fit it on there and it doesn't even go on the ball joint all the way and that's really unfortunate because that's why this arm broke so warning if you do have a side swipe like that take off the arm and move it on there do not try to force it that's why this thing broke so that's really a bummer but I'll set him off to the side the good thing is this figure doesn't have that problem he's very good whenever I transform him I'm not scared because the little bits on his shoulder here are very small and I'm very very glad on that now what you can do with his gun is you can take it and you can put it in his hand and it sort of gives him a G1 feel because this is a G1 looking gun except for it's not chromed out or anything so but what else you can do is there's a little tiny plug in here and you can actually I should probably zoom in so I can show you better you can put that in there and it's sort of like an arm gun I don't like that as much as putting it in his hand just because oh, I'm dropping things it looks more G1 accurate even though he's not a G1 figure and that's kind of cool because Fall of Cybertron is sort of supposed to introduce a G1 a uh, pre G1 feel on Cybertron so I really do like the gun I really like it although it can't shoot anything but I'm not really bummed about that because the guns shoot out laser beams not bullets like most figures so I'm actually kind of happy so if you do have a jazz figure and you don't like the gun I would tell you that you should keep it because it's really nice now I forgot to show you this earlier so I just put him back in car mode real quick one other thing you can do, like I showed you before, is you can attach the gun to the same plug-in that I showed you in robot form. So you can have it to the side. And same with side swipe here. I'll have him. Here he is. You can take his very large gun. And you can either attach it to the top. Or you could attach it to... You can't really do it to this side because it'll sort of block on the ground. So you have to do it on this side, on his broken arm. That won't stay very well. Come on. Come on. There we go. He just doesn't roll as nicely. So set him off to the side. Him, you can roll him along and shoot him. And he does roll nice, by the way. You know, roll him across real quick. Anyway, so that's what you can do with him in car mode with his gun. Now, in terms of articulation, he is fairly decent. His legs are on a ball joint, so that's full range of motion. He's got a knee joint here, and it's ratchet, so that's very nice. And not really anything except for this, and that's on a ratchet joint too, just so it's stiff so he won't like swing back or anything. So that's really nice. 
His arm's on a ball joint, like I said earlier, with side swipe. That's pretty good, except for you can't move it out too far, unless you'll start moving this thing, and it's sort of sticking out of his armpit, so just put that back in, and... Yeah. You can turn at the elbow, and you can rotate at the elbow. And his wrist is on a ball joint, which is very nice. So you can move that wherever you want, except for back here. You can move it in, but that's just part of the transformation, so... His head is on a ball joint, but you can't move it very much because, like I said earlier, this doesn't plug into the back very well, so you're just going to start moving this thing. But that's pretty much it for articulation. And now for the ratings. If I had to rate this guy from a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give him a 7 because I really like his robot mode. I really do like his face, and actually, I haven't really shown that off to you, so I'll do that here real quick. Focus. Nice detail on the face. And I love the visor. Very nice light piping. There's light piping back here, so if you can see that. I really like the light piping on this guy. So, even if, you move, if here, if I move it down a bit, the light might move in there. You can really see it. One of the problems I do have, though, is... Here, if I move his arm up. He does have some hollowness in there. And under his neck is pretty hollow, so... That's not a big deal, but... I don't know, they could have done a little bit better. One of the big issues I have was the issue I had with Sideswipe. I wish they would have engineered that a little bit differently, because... I don't know, it just seems accident prone. Like, if you move this too far, you could break the stick that the ball joint is attached to on the door or whatever. So that's what happened to this guy, unfortunately. So, if you really do want to, like, complain about it, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. So, I might as well stop complaining myself. So, that's pretty much all there is to say about this guy. So, until next time, guys, keep playing. And stay tuned for Sally's opinion on this figure. Okay, hey Sally, what's your opinion on the Generations Fall of Cybertron Jazz? Oh, 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 oh.